Oh. My speech is on Maria Cantwell. Why her? Because she came to my aid when I desperately needed it. Uh, I put a I put a sign in my yard. I campaigned for her, and I went to her speech. She helped me with a modification of my house and a modification loan on my equity. Uh, thanks to her, thanks to her crew, I kept my house, and uh, I'll be living in it for quite a while because I can't find any place else cheaper to rent. She came down to Olympia at uh, Ramblin' Jacks with about 10 other people, 10 other politicians, all Democrats. And they were in a real small room. She was born <coughs> October 13th, 1958. Her first job was in the Washington State House from 1993. I should say her first political job to 1995 and she's been a U.S. Senator since 2001. She's on three committees. The first committee is the Commerce, Science and Transportation. She's Chairwoman of Aviation Safety and Security. The second committee is the Committee for Energy and Natural Resources. She's the chairwoman on the subcommittee on energy. And she's on the financial committee. So getting back to where I was, there was about 60 of us in this small room along with 10 politicians. Needless to say, we were all crammed in there and it was getting hot. Her speech was very basic. She wanted the other politicians to speak. Basically, vote. She said it about a hundred times. And she also talked a lot about the other Democrats in the room. She talked more about them than she did herself. I knew I'd need my glasses sooner or later. In her speech, uh, she was very articulate. Never said, uh, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> and everything flowed out just like everybody here would like, like to happen. My start, story started where she helped me was in 2006 when I had a stroke. I was out of work for three and a half years. I needed the modification on my house because I was out of work for three and a half years and all my savings had, that I set aside my entire life went away. Maria Cantwell sent a crew down to the Lacey Community Center. This, these people uh, were there to help <coughs> with Social Security modifications anything you needed, health, and they'd go back, they took the information, and they went back, and they put the information in her larger crew where they could deal with it. I was, uh, thank you. There were four people down there. I gave them all the information that they needed and that I had at the time. 
and they said they'd be back to me in a week. Hold on to your seats. A week later, <laughs> something that you never get out of the government. A week later, a man called up, told me that he was handling it. Uh, he would help me. Uh, he had some questions about the information that I gave. <laughs> And he said, you should be receiving a call within the month. A week later, I got a call from the vice president of the bank that hold, held my mortgage in charge of loans and equity. She said, I'm in charge of this. I know you've had problems trying to get this. I will make sure and stay on top of it that it could, so it will get done. It'll probably take about a month. A week later, I was called from another vice president and said, he said, her part is done. It's my turn. It's gonna take about a month to get this done. About a week later. <laughs> I got a call from another vice president saying that that part was done. I have this to do. It should take a month or two. A week later, <laughs> I got a call. It's done. The first thing after he said, it's done, he said, who do you know? <laughs> I've been trying to do this for my mother and I can't get it done this fast who do you know and I said Maria Cantwell and he goes who's that because she's off in Texas or New York or someplace and um, thank you And I said, Maria Cantwell, she's my senator, my United States senator. And if you want to get something done, get a hold of your senator, and he should be able to do it. If he doesn't, vote another one in. This is why I campaigned for Maria Cantwell. This is why I put a sign in my yard. And this is why I went to the speech. Another thing I wanted to do is thank her personally. After she gave her speech and everybody was done, I did get a chance to talk to her for about five minutes. I thanked her. I told her her crew was great. I told her how it all went even though I know that she never even knew anything about it. And she was very nice. She was glad it all worked out. So that's my speech on Maria Cantwell. Thank you very much.